Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will see how to install Scala in IntelliJ. We will see how we can install the plugin in IntelliJ and we will see how we can run our first Scala program in IntelliJ. So before moving towards installing the Scala plugin in IntelliJ, we need to have Scala installed in our macOS machine. So in the previous video itself, I have showed you how we can install Scala in our Mac OS and configure the same. So you can go to my channel or either go in the video description. I'll provide you the URL where you can see how we can install Scala in our Mac OS. So let's move. So first you need to open IntelliJ. And if you also don't have IntelliJ installed in your Mac OS machine, then you need to install IntelliJ in your Mac OS machine first. So for that also, I have created a separate video where you can see how we can install IntelliJ in our Mac OS machine. So let's start. So let's move. So first I will be opening IntelliJ in my Mac OS machine. Okay. I have already opened IntelliJ in my Mac OS machine. Now I will be uh, going to this file option and I will be just selecting the settings property. Okay. Settings menu item option and I will be selecting this plugins. And in the marketplace, I need to, you know, click search for the Scala and then click on the search results. So you can see the Scala plugin we need to install and it's been provided by the JetBrains. So we need to install this. It will probably take few seconds depending upon your connection. Okay, so our Scala plugin has been installed and now I'll just simply restart my IDE. Okay, so we have restarted our ID. Now I'm just going to click on file, menu item option, new and project. So we are going to create our first Scala project. So it's just, you know, fetching the available Scala version or whatever plugin that we have installed and it will, you know, apply your changes after opening the ID, after restarting the ID. So you can see the Java build system, IntelliJ or Maven or Gradle based, you know, plugin you wanted to have for your project. I have selected the Scala, so I'm just first Scala project and I will be, you know, selecting the Scala version 3.3.1, the same version that we have installed. We can verify the same in the terminal and I'm just clicking on add sample code and let's just create our first Scala project. Click on new window and a new project has been created. And now you can see a main is also there. So we can just, you know, click on this and we can run this project. Okay, so I have waited for a few seconds, you know, because, you know, I have just installed the plugin and it will probably take a few seconds or probably a minute or two, you know, to, you know, actively you know uh, install everything for the scala to you know run in the run in your intellij so you know first this green button you can show the run button is not visible at that point of time and just i i just click on the notification in the spt plugin uh, for the scala to you know uh, so that the build files and everything would be set up uh, set it up in my intellij so now you can see everything is there and i can easily run my program so sbt is basically a build for the scala and J java project so you know just like the maven so this scala build tool is basically uh, you know used to you know run the uh, scala based projects and everything in the intellij just like the maven uh, cradle or ant we basically use for our java based project so now you can see everything has been set up in our intellij and now we can you know use our scala based projects or uh, you know we can write a program in the intellij to run our project so right click and just run this main or you can just click on this and run your program okay so you can see the output here and you can see that this program is running and we have successfully installed the plugin and you don't have to do any sort of configuration for here it's just install and run directly 
so that's all for today guys thank you uh, if you had any query regarding the installation or configuring or downloading for this scala do comment and i would be happy to help so that's all for today guys thank you